Hey guys, I'm Todd Hoffman with 316 Mining. You're here at McKinnon Creek at our gold mine, and you guys are going to follow the gold in virtual reality. Well, I'm Freddie Dodge, and right now we're headed to the Hoffman Claim on McKinnon Creek. We're just going to roll into camp here. We'll roll in, hopefully the plant's running, see what's going on. Like I say, every time you go to town and have to travel back out, everything, something always seems to change by the time you get back. Well, I've been, I've been messing with gold since I was just a little kid. I started with a, a gold pan and a shovel and graduated up through the years into heavy equipment. You know, this is, this is just part of my mining stuff here with the Hoffmans. I do quite a bit on my own as well. I've always had a passion for gold. You know, it started as a hobby when I was a kid, and it's evolved into what it is today. I make my whole living on the gold industry, and I, I still love it. You know, it's good when you do something for a living that you don't really consider a job. You know, you consider it more of a passion than a job. Monster Red's a heck of a plant. It's just chewing up material this year. Had a few little issues here and there, but that's normal. You know, for any plant, you beat your head against a rock all day and see how long you last. You know, and that's the same way with wash plants and heavy equipment. They're moving millions and millions of pounds of material daily. So, I mean, it, it takes a toll. This is, this is where they got their gold last year. Last year, Monster Red was set up just up here to our right. We moved it this year to get closer to the cut that they're mining this year. So, it's a beneficial move. The least amount of distance you gotta move material, the more cost effective it is. Dave, uh, Dave's real passionate, everybody here is on on getting the ground back to looking nice. You know, you don't want to leave a mess. You want to you want to make it where wildlife, you know, thrives in the area that you've mined at. Coming up in front of you here, there's Monster Red, guys, and it's running right now. You see the loader feeding the plant. You see the flag blowing in the wind. Tailings coming off the end of the tailings pile and Hopefully a, a whack of gold getting caught in the sluice box. Coming up on camp here. This is where all the miners stay. There's been quite a few miners have families up here this year, wives and children. And everybody's helped out. They've helped out cooking, cleaning, around camp. Everybody's done their part. It's been a really great group of guys to work with this year when I'm up here. There's Jack Shack off in the distance. There's camp. Okay guys, we're gonna take it slow and easy here because we're hitting, we're going into a, guys, we're gonna take it slow and easy here. We're headed onto a haul truck road right now. So we'll turn right up here and head down into the super cut. There's a water pump on your right guys for dewatering. So you've always, as you cut down through your pit and it fills with water, you've got to have a way to manage that water. Water management in a cut like this is your number one priority. You want to get the water out. You don't want to be mining underwater or you'll lose a lot of your gold and it slows you down tremendously. That's why dry mining is a lot more efficient and you actually get more of the gold out of the, out of the deposit because you can see what's in it. Like if this still, had water in it and you were floating out on it digging you wouldn't be able to see what you've got so dry mining is the is the best way to go you get a, a lot more of the gold out and if you're going to dig a hole like this you want to get every bit of gold you can out of the deposit the least you can leave behind the more money you make We're here, guys.